Today is going to be a very harrowing video. Six months ago, we purchased a small farm. It's only 10 acres, nice lot of buildings. But over that last six months, all it has done is rain. If you hadn't noticed, it just keeps falling out of the sky. We we're lucky if we've had two dry days in a row since we've been here. Anyway, the weather is just about to change and our ground is horrible. It is probably the worst ground you could possibly buy. It's wet, it's weedy, there's rushes everywhere. It's even worse down the other end. So we need to maintain it. We need to do some work to it to be able to get it to the standard we need. So we have teamed up with Farm Tech Supplies this year. So we're going to be bringing you a series of videos utilizing their machinery and equipment, which is specially designed for small farms and small holders, equestrian properties and such like. So today is going to be a very harrowing video. So make sure you keep watching to find out because we've got loads more other stuff coming as well. We've got a topping video coming very soon. We've got a haymaking video where we're going to be using their equipment from their mowers, turners, rakes, tethers, and I've just bought baler so we can bale it all up as well. So yeah, lots of exciting things to do, but let's check out our ground and then we'll go and hitch up the harrows and get harrowing. So the ground here is pretty atrocious. It is still very wet, it's still going to be places where I'm going to make more mess than it's worth at the moment, but I need to get the rest of it done in the dry areas. That's Barney and Billy the goats. Hi Barney, Billy. That's the only two outside animals at the moment, but we've got sheep and pony and more animals to come. There's a little bit of woodland in there, which needs fencing off for one, but needs to do lots of work in there as well. Down here is a big rushy area, which we'll probably top later in the year. And then the rushes in this field are uh, just sort of patches here, there and everywhere and it gets worse as you go up through there. But the big sort of area here isn't too bad at all, apart from there's a few docks starting to come through and then over in this area here are thistles. Lots of thistles. And you see here that the old thistle stalks from last year and there are a load of stinging little patches here, there and everywhere as well. We've got some areas like this where it's a bit bare where we were trying to find some pipes earlier in the year. And if you look here where the grass, new grass is starting to come through but in underneath you've got this thick thatch and it's like that right across the whole field. And again more areas like this where we've had a new soak away cesspit put in. And also we've got a few Michael Moles about. Yeah. Goats are following now look. Right so let's go and Check out the harrows, get them hitched up. Sun's coming out, oh yeah. The boys want to put on a show now, but also loads of fencing to do as well going forward. A lot of the content like that there will be on our vlog channel, which is MN Vlogs, so the link is below in the description for that if you want to follow along with that as well. What are you two up to? <laughs> Here are the harrows, which are actually Hackett harrows. So William Hackett are the makers of these. So we're now going to get them all unpackaged and hitched up. There's my baler, which actually got delivered last night. And we have just had a load of mud on it from where it was transported down the roads. So we just quickly spilled that off, but we will be doing a full servicing video on that on our vlog channel very, very soon. Now the question is, which tractor am I gonna use to put in front of these harrows? This one? Nah. Too small. This one? Nah. Too old. This one? Nah. It's not ready yet and it doesn't have any linkage on it. This one. Now, this is a very strong contender, but I've got another idea. We're going to use this one because it's got air conditioning and it has a radio. Oh yeah. Right, they're off the pallet. Let's get them hitched up. So we got her out in the field, but we've just had another shower of rain. Oh yes, anyone would think it's 2024, wouldn't they? So these chain harrows are made by Hackett Harrows, which are produced by William Hackett. And they do a full set of chain harrows from four foot drag mats right up to these which is the 12 foot frame version on the three point linkage very traditional style of chain harrow with your big chain links in between you've got these sticky down tines here which sort of do the real digging into the ground and then you've got these here which are loose and follow back behind they're on a nice steel frame on three point linkage on category one and category two options they have a 50 mil steel frame all the way around the outside and are joined on by chains on the front and back. So they're actually linked on these chains on the back, which I really, really like. Right, so they fold down quite easily. We've got these, these chain hooks on the top. You can push the chain back over there and you should just be able to pull that out over and let that down like so. And now do the other side. 
again, same again, taking the chain off this time and folding down over. There we are, set up. So that's fully out, which is now the full 12 foot. I got it behind a 55 horsepower Coyote, but you could put it behind anything up to probably sort of 80 horsepower and anything down to probably about sort of 35, 40. And Barney and Billy are very excited because I'm gonna be dragging up a load of rubbish out of this ground, which they're gonna love nibbling on. So the whole idea of chain harrowing is to be able to rip the thatch out the bottom of your field. So as time goes on, the, or the dead grass in the bottom builds up. So the idea of chain harrowers is to sort of rip that out as well as leveling off mole hills, pulling up any sort of surface level stones that you may have got lying around to be able to make it more visible so that you can go around afterwards and pick them up. And it will just generally condition the ground. If you've got any lumps and bumps or any ruts and things like that, it will also help to level those out. And then once you've gone around with it, the chain harrows, you can then roll it over the top to make it nice and smooth, ready for either haymaking or for grazing. Don't you think pretty? Suits it, doesn't it? Couldn't get a better colour match for the coyote tractor either. So right, let's jump in. Let's start harrowing. Got a walt. Hop, hop, hop. No, nope, come on in. Got me tractor dog as well. So I've put my chain harrows down. I have cut them up a little bit for the first round around the outside just to make sure I'm happy with everything and trying to watch out for the fence at the same time. So let's give it a go. Deepest bit of ground I got, I'm very lucky. This looks like a bit lumpy here, this bit. Alright, James, spot on, mate. So we're gaining. I'm on my third way around on my headland now, which I might go around again on the outside. I went a bit steady because of the fences to get rid of all these stalks and things. But yeah, I'm also getting used to this tractor because to be fair, I've never done any field work with a hydrostatic tractor. So this is all fairly new to me as well. But no, everything seems to be working quite well. Looking out the back, it's pretty dandy. Quite happy. Got my aircon all turned on as well now. Lovely. What a job it's done on those molehills, eh? Proper. Look at this. Nice. Right, so I've done three rows around the outside of my headland. So that's all done. And now I'm going to be going up and down and play some nice drone footage and hopefully some beautiful music. You never know. So, right, let's get back in the track now and do it. Take those straight lines. I'm not, not very good at straight lines, but look at that. Well happy. <laughs> right, do some more.
there we have it. One field complete, one field all chain harrowed and done. We have got the air back into the ground. We have leveled off the molehills, turned up a few stones, which I now need to go and collect and created some beautiful stripes. I'd never done such straight lines in all my life. Who needs GPS, eh? Anyway, check out the range of Hackett Harrows. Oh yes, ack you up with a hatchet harrow because they are very, very good. They're small holders, small farms, small operations. If you've got stuff to go behind quad bikes, compact tractors, or perhaps even your Land Rover, then that is the range to check out. Very, very happy, very, very pleased. And I've now got a harrowed field. Thank you very much for watching. We're Machinery Nation and we bring you videos every single week about tools and machinery. So please consider subscribing, hit the like button and ding the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!